them. Okay. I'm calling Eric Carter. He'll know a good lawyer. He's an ambulance chaser. Yeah, but he'll know a good defense attorney. Fine, call him from our room. Take Prescott with you. How did it get to this? I mean, were you even thinking through the consequences of what you were doing? Of course I did. I only made this decision because I knew you'd agree with me. Well, I did, and I do, but we are in a big mess here. I've gotten out of some pretty tough situations before. Not like this. This is O'Brien. We're with the FBI. OK, I'll be right there. Go with Daddy to our room. Take your cereal. They're not allowed to eat in your room. It's OK, just this once. Go ahead. If you don't open the door now, you'll leave us no choice but to break it down. I'm Special Agent Scott Frank. I have a warrant for your arrest. Take me where you need to take me. My family's in the back room. Leave them out of this. Well, that's up to you. I have questions which need to be answered sooner than later. So let's do this now. We have reason to believe you facilitated the escape of a federal fugitive, Jack Bauer. I have no idea where Jack Bauer is. Would you tell me if you did? I didn't think so. Please, Mrs. O'Brien, have a seat. Fifteen years. That's the minimum prison sentence for aiding and abetting a federal fugitive. <sighs> Frankly, after reviewing Bauer's file, I'm a little baffled. Baffled? That you so consistently come to the aid of a man with such a problematic record. He did things that no one else had the guts to do, things that needed to be done. Well, he can explain himself when he's in custody. That's not going to happen. Excuse me? Agent Frank, you're not going to find Jack, not if he doesn't want to be found. Sir, would you please bring your son in here? Why? Get the boy. I will get my son. Look, it may not be too late for you to dig yourself out of this hole you've gotten yourself into, but if you don't help me now, I can't help you later. Your son Preston, he's five. He'll be six on July 8th? Prescott, yes. Well, do the math. You won't see him much until his 21st birthday. And whatever time you do get to spend with him will be through a plexiglass window. If my son grows up knowing that his mother gave up her freedom for her principles instead of the other way around, I'm OK with that. I'm done talking until I can speak with my lawyer. Mrs. O'Brien, put your hands behind your back. Cuff her. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you're not afford one, we'll be appointed for you. Let's go.